<laughs> Bo, 36 holes of really solid golf. How would you assess your play so far this tournament? It's been really good. I mean, I'm 15 under par through two rounds, so yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. <laughs> um, just feel like I've made it relatively stress-free. I mean, certainly a few holes that I've had to grind a little bit, but all in all, uh, ball's been in the fairway or close, and then on the green or close, and then, um, you know, I've putted putted pretty well. I've read the greens, you know, pretty well from seven to 20 feet. And um, today I even got a long one to go. So um, very solid. Please just hoping to do two more. You talked about it a little bit a couple minutes ago, but this is a golf course you like, but maybe, maybe not one you circle on the calendar. But what do you really like about this golf course and what what sticks out about about the country club of Jackson when you come here? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a very traditional golf course. Um, there's really no, you know, like blind shots, which I like. You see, you see what you get, what you see. Basically, is what I'm saying. If when you stand on the tee, it frames exactly where you need to hit it, and it just comes down to executing a golf shot. There's no mind games out here. Um, if you can drive it pretty well, you can get a lot of wedges in your hand. And I feel like my wedge game's come a long way in the last couple of years. So, uh, with that being said, I feel like from the fairway with a wedge in my hand, I'm going to get a really nice look at birdie and. Um, you know, in a low scoring tournament like this, at some level it becomes, you know, you got to hit it well, but it becomes the guy that makes the most kind of mid range birdie putts, uh, probably for four rounds of the players that hit it well. So I've hit it well so far. I've been in, in play off the tee the majority of the time. And, um, you know, ideally just keep it as stress free as I can for the next 36 holes. And hopefully I can get some, uh, get some putts to keep going in. Early yesterday, we saw some low scores. David Skins shooting a a 12 under 60 to, yep. to, to open things up. When you see guys going low right off the bat, does mm-hmm. that, is that almost encouraging for you when you go out knowing that you know, the course is maybe a little gettable and that you can put up a good number? Yes, but you can also fall into trying to force a low score, and that seems to never work. So, um, you know, when you kind of get these shootout golf tournaments, uh, I think it's really important to stay focused on the present and understand that, you know, likely you're going to have a lot of opportunities in front of you and try not to just force that one to go in right now. You know, easier said than done. <laughs> but certainly if I can do that, I think there are clearly gettable scores. But if you go out and try and shoot eight, nine under par, it's, it's not going to happen. you got to just try and take it one at a time, try and pick apart the par fives the best you can birdie the drivable hole and there you are already starting three four five under par and then try and get you know looks on the rest of the holes that's kind of my game plan on a on an easy golf course is to try and break it down and simplify it as much as that and and just say listen every chance that i get is a win and and hopefully i you know read the greens well and and make some putts that's that's basically all you can do awesome thanks bo appreciate it all right appreciate it